<clears throat> All right, back again. Long time no see. And today I'm going to be playing Sonic 2 on the Sega Master System. It's an entirely different game from the Sega Genesis Sonic 2 that we all know and love. So, enough of that. Let's go! Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Master System. I actually did a video of this game, the Game Gear version though, which is nearly the same thing. The main plot is that Tails has been kidnapped. And you, as Sonic, must go save him. And because this this actually came out before Sonic 2 on the Genesis did, so this means that this is the first game that Tails came from. This is also one of the few Sonic games that don't start you from a hill. This is underground zone with minecarts in it. Whoa. Also, if you notice, as with the other Master System Sonic games, after you get a hundred rings, it goes back to zero. This level wasn't that long. None of the levels in this game are necessarily too long. Some of them are just a bit difficult. I also wonder why is Tails in all the in the level intro cards? Which this is actually one of the few Sonic games that do that. The others being like I mean separate intro cards that don't fade right into the level. The others being Sonic 1 and Chaos also on the Master System. This game isn't too bad. Like I said, it's just a bit difficult at times. One difficult part, thing that really makes it a little difficult is the controls aren't as good as the Genesis games. Not that they're bad controls, but they're not... They're not great. Like, they're a little slippery at times. So that was the Chaos Emerald there. There's six of them in this game. You have to find them in Act 2 of each zone. Unlike the... Genesis games where you get a special stage and then get the Chaos Emerald. 
which this game has no special stages at all. Sonic 1 on the Master System did have special stages, but you didn't get the Chaos Emeralds from them. They were more as of a means of getting continues. Act 3 is, are, they're just usually short lead-ins for the bosses. one is just relatively straightforward, just jump over the balls. This is one of the aspects where the Game Gear version differs. For one, the boss music is different. And due to the screen crunch on it, due to the small resolution of the Game Gear, you see less of the screen, and for some strange reason they made the balls bounce at varying heights. Meaning, you don't know how high it's going to bounce, which that kind of makes it difficult. This is regarded as the the hardest Sonic game of all, of all time, like of the classic ones. <laughs> this stage is, is one of the reasons why. On that Game Gear Sonic 2 video, I... Uh, I struggled a lot on this level, due to the hang glider, which is a really, really annoying thing. And when you lose rings in this game, you lose, it, it only shows one, you can only pick up one per ten rings that you have. Uh, it, it's difficult to... It, uh, put it this way. See, I have 35 rings. If I get hit, I'll... You only see three get lost from me. See? That looked easy, right? But... <laughs> most people, they... they in myself included when I first used to play this game, I used to flop around like a freaking fish in the air. Because I didn't know how to use it. All you have to do is just press the back button and down at the same time on the Sega controller. I'm playing with the Sega Genesis controller because I'm playing it on the Sega Genesis. But... This level is a bit annoying because of the wind. And then there's areas where there's large pits of spikes. This is actually one of the Sonic games that there that there's it's not very well known. Like I know Sonic fans, they don't even know that this game exists. This part is a bit annoying. Well, I mean, the Game Gear version, a lot of people who had a Game Gear possibly had this game. But the Master System one wasn't even released in the US. Mainly due to the fact that the Master System was discontinued around. 1991. Sonic 1 on there was the last game for it in the U.S. Because the Master System itself it wasn't really that popular here. The NES, of course, was the winner of that third generation console. War. I hate this boss a little. It's not that difficult. It's just the fact that these little metal things are very small. And then you just 
just hit the the bird. 